Hey, what's going on my friend? This is Matthew Hamill with Kitchens by Design and today's video is all about the new IKEA kitchen system. Now as you can see it's Christmas behind me in a few days and I just started taking a little bit of my own medicine here, uh, installing my own IKEA kitchen cabinets in the first part of our house. But I really wanted to take this opportunity to answer some of the questions that we keep getting from our clients over and over and over again. And the first question I wanna answer is, what door styles are gonna stay and which ones are coming? Now, as far as we know, and this is because IKEA's kept a pretty tight lip on this new system, um, but as far as we know, there's only one color that's going to be removed, and unfortunately, it's my one of my favorites. It's the Adele Medium Brown. As far as we know, I could be wrong. I actually hope I'm wrong, but from what we've seen and what we've heard, it looks like the Adele Medium Brown is going to be discontinued, which, if that's what you were hoping to get in the new kitchen, sorry. But as far as adding colors, we've seen anywhere from three to five new colors coming to the United States. Uh, we've seen this with the METOT system over in Europe, and based upon some of the sources that we have here, they're going to be adding about three to five new colors, which is very cool, especially if you're looking to expand your color options with a contemporary IKEA kitchen. The second most common question that we get asked is about pricing. People want to know if this is going to be more expensive, it's going to be a little bit less, or if it's going to be about the same. Now, based upon what we've been told and what we've seen, again, over in Europe, is that the price point for the new IKEA kitchen cabinets are going to be about the same as what they are for the Acrum line, which is the current line they have now here in the United States. And if you're looking at a 10 by 10 kitchen, a good base price point for starting out at IKEA's lowest end is going to be about $8.99. And if you're looking at IKEA's highest end door style, then you're looking to about $2,700 to $3,000 for the same 10 by 10 kitchen. Now, it's obvious that pricing does vary upon door style, as well as the size of your kitchen and the amount of cabinets you want to have. So you could have a 10 by 10, but you could have sky high ceilings like I do here, and you can stack cabinets on top of cabinets, and you can get really elaborate with your design. And the last most common question that we get asked from our clients is, what's the difference in the installation process? Well, from what we've seen, the cabinets are assembled a little bit differently. None of the old hardware will work with the new line. So if you thought you could just swap out some hinges, and uh, put some new doors on. Unfortunately, you're wrong. But the assembly is a little different, and the key difference with the installation is that the base cabinets now have a rail mounting system that is very similar to the wall cabinets that are currently with the Acrum system. So the base cabinets will sit on a stainless steel track that is mounted into the studs in your wall, and then the base cabinets are hung on that rail, just like they would be hung on the upper cabinets in your kitchen. The second thing that we've heard that's a little bit different with the installation actually has to do with the quality of the legs. Thank God. The current IKEA legs are a little tough to handle. Um, they tend to fall out, and we do a ton of IKEA kitchen installations year-round, and uh, yeah, trying to install pantries or moving a base cabinet to a wall to get it ready for installation can be a pain in the butt if the legs are always falling out or snapping because you're trying to drag the cabinet on the floor hoping that the legs don't fall out. So we've been told that they are changing the system of the legs and that they're gonna be a lot more durable, a lot more sturdy. I know the legs with the Acrum line now can hold up to, I believe it's 250 pounds per leg, which they're pretty strong, so I don't see them changing anything like that. But I, I do see the change being something along the lines of functionality and ease of installation. And that's pretty much all we've got on the new IKEA kitchen line. But if you've got more questions on the new IKEA kitchen system, or you want to get a head start with your planning and get a free design consultation, click the link below this video as we'd be more than happy to help. Again, my name is Matthew Hamill with Kitchens by Design, and I hope you have a phenomenal day.